In this video I want to cover the assembly of the motor mount, at least get it started. Um, the first thing you want to do is to test fit all your rings onto the tubes and into the large tubes. Um, I've already gone ahead and sanded these out um, so that the, the slip fit was a little bit easier. Um, when you do sand, you want to wear a respirator uh, because this is fiberglass. And so, uh, the first thing I need to do here is to figure out where this tube is going to go in relation to that. Uh, with, because there's no instructions, um, I can't put the fin too far back or uh, the ring too far back because of the slot here on the tube. Um, so I'm going to have this one. This is the front one because it has the notch in it. And then the rear one will go here. And then I got to decide how much room I want to hang out the back. If I use our engine retainer, I'm going to need about that much. And that's about 3 eighths of an inch, uh, almost a half of an inch. Um, that's enough for the retainer to grab onto it. Um, and then I have this slot right here, so that ring has to be just behind that slot. Um, so and if I want the tube to hang out any further back, then I'm going to have to slide it through the ring a little bit. If I hang it out too far back, then it's going to stick below the tube and it doesn't stand up so much. Uh, this tube doesn't have any fins that hang below the rocket, so when you're standing up in a corner, it's either going to sit on this tube or this tube. Um, I'll try to get them close. I'll probably end up using a display stand when I stand mine up. Um, ideally, on this front ring, I want it so that the ring is just touching the tab on the fin because that's going to give me the strongest joint. Um, but then it gets really critical on putting everything together. So we'll probably put this ring a little bit further forward. The other issue is we have to put the um, shock cord on here. So that will go in that notch. And then it's going to get wrapped around like this. So now if you put your fin in, um, you got to leave room for that shock cord. So if it's too close, um, then, it's, then it's squeezing the shock cord. And then you're going to have to sand this to get it to fit. So by moving the ring a little bit further forward, we leave room for that to go around the shock cord like that. So that's what I'm going to do. Um, but before we can glue these on, we need to scuff up the, the tube. Um, the reason is because it's so slick, the fiberglass or the epoxy has a hard time bonding to it. So I'm going to put on my mask and then I'm just going to sand this area right here on the tube in that area right there on the tube. And then on this tube, I want to sand inside right in front of the fins. And then right, um, it's going to be somewhere like right in a band. I'm not exactly sure, so I'll just do a band right in there. And to do that, you're going to need a, a dowel. And I've wrapped some sandpaper around it so I can get in and scuff it up. And you can see it's it's kind of stuck in there. That's the nice thing about fiberglass tubes, it's a little bit translucent, so you can actually see what's going on on the inside.
Okay. And now I'm going to put this on and just scuff up these other things here. just got some soap and water in a little spray bottle and you want to get that fiberglass dust up because you don't want to be breathing that themselves uh, we want to scuff just below the that corner joint right there just to give it a little bit the epoxy something to bond to so go ahead and do that and then we'll start putting things together <laughs> 